Hey YouTube! So I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try to add my face video with the unboxing video. Um, I have two boxes to unwrap. Um, two different uh, people that I got crystals from. Um, from Instagram sales. And um, there's some that I don't even remember what I bought. Which is bad. Um, and then I'm also going to be showing um, a different video. Um, the collection that I currently have and some pieces that I haven't shown um, or made unboxing videos for. Um, I've just been really busy the past few weeks. Um, I also have a quartz singing bowl um, for the throat chakra. It's huge and I'm going to play that and also um, show you on how to actually use it. Um, so enjoy the videos. Hello YouTube. So this is part of the first video. Hopefully I did this right. Um, <laughs> I'm still learning my learning my editing skills. Um, and so yeah. Um, so I did unbox one of them. And as you can see, so much paper. And my opinion, I mean, it's great to protect the crystals and all that, but come on, that's a lot. But it's better to have it protected than not, so can't fuss. Um, this is a nice little crystal grid I got from my subscription box with the crystal council. Um, that was really cool with that. Um, and there's other crystals back here that I'll show you that um, I got. But these are the crystals I got from um, a user who uh, did a live sale on Instagram. And if you like more information on the live sales from Instagram, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to give you the username. Um, they usually do a live sale once a week and they have really great prices. So my first item is one of my favorite stones. Um, this is a Herkimer, a Herkimer diamond. And the clarity on that is absolutely amazing. You can see right through. There's a few inclusions, but the size of it is absolutely perfect. Um, a beautiful stone from Herkimer, New York. Um, and I love Herkimer diamonds. Uh, one I got from the Crystal Collector, who has a YouTube channel called The Crystal Collector. Um, I bought this from him. Um, this is a Herkman Diamond. So you can see the size difference, but you can see the clarity is totally different. So like this, <laughs> this size here is probably the size of that one. Um, so, but either way, they're both amazing. Um, stones. So that's a Herkimer diamond. And like with everyone, we're still learning different types of crystals. Uh, or try to remember the names, I should say. So if I forget the names, please forgive me. Um, I'm still learning like everyone else. Um, now this is a very nice one. This is a quartz uh, spill, sp spillerite and with pyrite. And then she labeled it, which is great. Um, now look at that. Look at the sparkles in that. Look at the, cl um, the clusters on this here. Let's see. Um, I just wanna make sure there's nothing toxic. Yeah, this is not a to non-toxic stone, so this is safe to hold. Uh, she just kept the wrapping on that, so nothing falls. But look at the little points on there. Look how cute, cool that is. Oh yeah, see, it's falling. I can hear some stuff falling. Uh, but yeah, you can see the pyrite in there. Pyrite everywhere. 
but the, I mean, the sparkles in that is just mind blowing. But yeah, that's quartz, sp spiralite plus pyrite. So that's really cool. Now, how much would you guess that I paid for this? I mean, it's a good size, right? It's absolutely beautiful. Pyrite in it everywhere. And little uh, towers in there. 45, 50, 30. Nope. Ten dollars. Ten freaking dollars. That's what I'm saying. You have to go to... So, my secret is going to people that go to direct miners, and the miners sell it to them for nothing. Because they mine it, and, you know, they're looking for some profit, but not major profit. Because they enjoy doing it. They love what they do. So, going to those people is probably the best if you want to find rare stones, um, but also common stones um, for affordable prices. So, there's another one here I'm unwrapping. Let's find out what we have. Okay, so this is an actual uh, citrine point. So this is a natural citrine and a very beautiful color. They don't have a price on there, but um, citrine is not cheap, especially for this kind of, I mean, look at the rainbows on that. See the rainbow right there? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And I do have other ones here. I have other citrine points, so you can kind of see the difference in clarity. This one's huge. This one I got from um, the Crystal Shack. Check them out on Instagram as well. Amazing people. Um, their name is Ashley and Daniel. Um, they're just wonderful to work with and um, really, really great people. But I got that big one from them. Um, this one I also got as a smaller piece. So you can kind of tell they come in different forms. And this is real citrine. Um, and you can tell the difference. So this one I bought um, as one of my first ones. And they described this as citrine. And I was like, wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I noticed a little crack here. And come to find out that this is actually man-made. Um, na it's natural in a way, but it's man-made. Uh, quartz um, heated to look like citrine so it's kind of upset but nonetheless it's still beautiful it's still you know a mineral it's still crystal it has gorgeous rainbows and it is absolutely beautiful but what I paid for it um, I shouldn't have paid for it so that was my fault well, this is way before I was starting to collect so this is what you want to get this type of citrine natural citrine um, I also got these, which I thought they're so cool. They are little candle holders. You can put tea light candles in them, um, which I plan to do. Um, these are actually perfect to put in a meditation circle. Um, usually I put two candles next to me um, and use that as my light source, turn all the lights off and just use two, two, uh, two, uh, well, I can speak. Uh, two candles and I got a second one as well. Um, so again, the price, $5 for a selenite tea candle and that's a pretty good size. So not only can you, uh, you can use it for charging stones because it's pretty deep. It goes pretty deep. You can charge your stones in there. Um, but you can use it for candles or anything else. So I got two of them. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm glad I got that. This is my last piece from this user. And again, if you want her name, I'd be happy to give it to you. Um, just let 
민네를 Oh, this one. <clears throat> why people don't like this stone? I'm not sure why. Um, but hey, every stone is made for someone. This is a Sectarian. Um, so Sectarian is basically like this guy. This is actually a bowl I bought. And to me it looks like cookie dough. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks like cookie dough. It's pretty cool. But I love the, the colors. The colors are brown. I don't know. I've had that obsession with these colors. Like dark tan, dark, like a dark brown, light brown, white, black. Um, and my cat's the same color. She's calico. My snake is the same color. Like brown, light brown. So I've always had this obsession with those colors. I don't know why. But I did. Oh, this piece is so awesome. I, I almost forgot about this. But look at that. Polished into this beautiful free form. It's like looking into a cave. Isn't that cool? I'm sorry, I'm blocking the light there. They call this the dinosaur egg as well. Hence, it looks like a dinosaur egg. Nice, good size. So that's that. So those are the pieces I got from the specific user on Instagram. She sells a lot of unique items. Um, for example, um, I'll have to look this up and I cannot remember the name, but these are one of the rarer stones um, really hard to find and the I believe it's her husband that polishes and cuts them and polishes these um, but it has the blue I think that's green tourmaline pretty sure but this is one of my expensive items this little piece was I think like 78 maybe um, because of the rarity of the stone and the way it's cut so this has a lot of energy in it like just holding it now it just contains a lot of energy um, and it's so beautiful I just love that blue I'm so glad my camera's focusing well it's doing good today it's behaving so I'm gonna put these aside for now Gorgeous pieces. I'm sorry, my camera stand is on a mat here. Um, now this box is from a, another YouTuber. A YouTuber, I'm sorry, Instagrammer. Um, her name is Chez Gems Crystals. That's C H E Z Gems Crystals. Um, she's this wonderful lady. She's very nice. Um, she's, she, she has very, very affordable, um, and honestly crazy prices. So, <laughs> um, she did tell me, um, there's one piece that I got, and it was, I think it was like a $40 piece, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, she said during the packaging it broke, some of the pieces broke. So she completely refunded me the item, and she still sent it to me. Um, so that was really, really nice of her. Um, so yeah, here you go. That's her Instagram name and website. She is a certified gemo uh, gemologist. Uh, so it's a little... Yeah, that's the stone that I purchased. Adula, Adulera. See, these names are not easy to pronounce. But she is so, so nice and just amazing. And she, and if you have a stone that you don't know, um, she'll be happy to help identify it and tell you the properties too. So she's really cool with that. Um, so I do have the list of items that I got, so 
that will be much easier to <laughs> identify the stones and tell you what it is. So let's start. Um, but, well, look at this. It's a nice little snack. Creamy milk chocolate covered macadamias from Hawaii. Nice. The original Aloha gift. Awesome. I mean, chocolate, give me chocolate. Love chocolate. So that was really cute of her to do that. This is really well wrapped again. Oh, and it's extra wrapped again. Here we go. Ooh, so, okay. I, I'm gonna take a wild guess before I look at the chart what this is. Now this is probably Brazilian quartz. Am I right? Drum roll. I don't know how to do it. Um, please hold. Clear Quartz Cluster Brazil. Aha. Clear Quartz Cluster Brazil. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is one of the Clear Quartz from Brazil. But look at that little formation here. They're all points. All of them. Every single one is a point. And it sits there nicely displayed. Very cute. Um, so I got two of these, so another one's in there somewhere. But this was only five dollars. Five bucks. For all those points. Oh, put that right there. Okay. I need a big bigger desk. I have a song in my head. Alright, so I got something else here. It says thank you in a black bag. I think she indicated something on here that something with a black bag. Um, for gift, maybe that's it? Free gift, free gift. Yeah, this might be the free gift. So here's the thank you gift. So let's see what this is. And I love the people that include like little things and little gifts in there just to, you know, just make it extra special. And that's the thing about crystals. So if you collect them, you know, and you eventually pass them down or you trade them. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, oh, oh, what is this? Um, I got smudged, I can kind of read it, oval, faceted, down, something emerald, so it's an emerald piece. Nice little container too. I guess that she's a certified gemologist, so she only gets the best here. Um, yeah, this is this is not one of the pieces I ordered, so this must have been the free gift, <laughs> a free little emerald. And this would be perfect in like uh, a ring if you want to make a ring out of it. Um, I do have a whole bunch of. Um, uh, polished gemstones. I have a whole bunch of emeralds and rubies, sapphires, um, 
and some other stones I won't name because I don't want my house to be robbed. <laughs> so let's not do that. Yeah, that's actually a really nice piece there. Let me, I'm going to look at this real quick. Oh, okay, I see a little mark in the middle there, so that's why she gave it as a free gift. Because you, can, you can't really make that into a, you know, a set. I mean, you could, but to make a perfectly well ring or earring or whatever, you want to have a really nice set there. Oh, it's coming off my hands. Uh, uh, uh. What does that look like to you? It looks like a key for the number nine. Or it looks like something, the male body part. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, so anyways, let's continue, sorry. Boop, 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 boop. Trying to be enter more entertaining. It's so hard to entertain people anymore. I have such a mess. You should see it. Like, I'm going to show you real quick. Look at that mess. That's from all the packaging. Isn't that great? Okay. Continue. So here's the, the uh, bag. This is a nice little bag, too. Great to put tumbles or whatever. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so this is the other Brazilian point that was for $5. Focus. Thank you. This one had lots of rainbows when flat. Oh, so we call it flash. Come on. Is it focusing for you guys? Hopefully. Nice little points. Quartz from Brazil. Five dollars. Oh, there's actually some hematite in there. Or actually, it could be tourmaline. There might be little bits of tourmaline in there. Black tourmaline. Okay, so let's put that over there. What else do we got here? Oh, wait, that's another piece. I'm confused. Let me look over this. Oh, okay, so this is, this is the one that broke. Okay, this is the Quachata Quartz Adolora Cluster. Sounds like I just said a spell, uh, spell. So this is the one that broke. And, uh, if I remember from the show, it's super hard to get these type of quartz. Oh yeah, look at look how beautiful, right there. Oh, is this the one with the water? This could be the one with the water. So there was a piece, I think it was this one, that had water inside and it moved. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I can't see it. But yeah, anytime you got a piece with like water that is inside and it kind of moves, it's really super cool to have. Okay, so this is the next one. Here we go. What do we have here? Oh, and Septarian. Like I said, I'm, I'm, a sept I'm obsessed with these. Um, I actually got a huge heart Septarian. Um, so, as well, because I just love the colors and I don't know. So this little guy was five bucks, small palm stone. Nice little flashes in there. 
The brown is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Okay, let's continue. Now, I know I got a, a Herc, a Herc and a Diamond from her as well. And I can't tell her I, I love my diamonds. I love my diamonds. I think this is her there, actually. Or oh, this could be oh, on. Hold on. Sorry for the crunching noises. Is this the Herc? Yep. Yep, this is the Herc. Yep, yep, yep. See all the hair is not included. That's gonna bug me. Get my hair off. Okay. So that's the herc with all those rainbows in it. If you don't if you don't have a herc, um, I highly suggest getting one. It has so much power. You can stare at this whole this all night and just be in love. I love herks. It's just amazing. Um, and that was for 25, um, which isn't bad, it's a pretty good size. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong. So this piece wasn't the piece that was damaged. So this must be another, I am so confused. Yes, Angie, I know. That's my cat, that's my cat, by the way. Um, she must have included this, because I don't see this on my list. I only got two of them. So there's two Brazilian quartz. Oops, sorry, it's not focusing. Focus, good job. Yeah, here's the note. I'm so sorry this got damaged. Of all the things I could have replaced, this wasn't it. And that's because of the rarity of the stone. So I'm going to open up very gently. Oh, okay, so this is this is actually the piece from it. Okay, so this is actually part of it right here. It probably was attached somewhere, but look at that. Even damaged, I, I, was, I would've kept the $40. Look at all the sparkles. And look at this. Ugh. Look how absolutely beautiful. The camera can't even focus because it's so freaking perfect and it's so clear look at that look how clear that is this is gorgeous wow i'm just looking deep in here you can see some peach in there it looks like it's peach color in there wow 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 i mean just having that stand somewhere and I have to find a spot. I'm telling you, I have crystals everywhere. I have to find room. <laughs> but, um, look at that. I, I'm just in awe right now. So yeah, so this part belonged on top of somewhere. I wanna say maybe here. Or maybe not. No, I think it is. I think it's the same. So it must have broke off somewhere. And that's okay. Because it's still gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And it's very fragile. I'm very happy with that. And I have to find room. <laughs> yeah, and these pieces up over here. Um, that's actually emerald. Raw emerald over there. Um, I'll show that in my next video. Because this one's already going a half hour. Try not to 
short, but I know a lot of you have said that you like just listening to me talk. Um, I try to be funny. Sometimes it's not successful, but I try. I try. I try so hard. There's another piece. Absolutely perfect look. That's the quartz you want. So when you look for quartz, this is what you want. Clarity. And rainbows. Look at the rainbows, right? Do you see them? Do you see it? Focus. Thank you. Look at that. Woo! That is beautiful. There's some black tourmaline in there. So I am really confused. <laughs> I am super confused. So Herc Diamond, the, the Quattrita Dolara Quartz, um, Septarian, Palm, Two Clear Quartz Brazil Flash, Smoky Elestral Quartz. I don't think I got to that yet because nothing smoky yet. Um, Emerald Polish Tumble. We didn't get to that yet. Emerald Polish Point. We didn't get to. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's just extras. This part I still believe. Oh, that's my. Oh, sorry. Focus. This part I think still belongs there. So I got three. So I got maybe an extra one as a gift, maybe. I don't know. I ain't complaining. Again, if you want the names, I'll show you the name of Chaz. Um, check her out. She does, um, she tries to do as many shows as she can, but she has to get, um, her, uh, supplier and stuff like that. So this is the Emerald Point. I absolutely love Emerald. Emerald, Emerald, Emerald. Pyrite in there? Or is it just the way that... Hmm, I don't know. Might be some pyrite in there. Look at the flash. But look at the color. There's something about emerald. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the Wizard of Oz. Emerald City. I don't know. But something when you hold it, just it's just a lot of power here. I think these are pyrite. Oh, someone asked me about this, the stickers. So when it says made in Brazil, it's not fake. The stone wasn't made. The stone was carved in Brazil. So it was polished. And then here's the raw piece. So it was carved and polished in Brazil. That's what those stickers mean. So usually I leave those on just to show that. Um, oh, there's another piece here too. Oh, okay. So the one I, um, Let's see. This one is the Mexican Fire Opal in Rhyolite. There's so many like things about Fire Opal. Oh wait, no, this is the, hold on, my bad. Rewind. So this is the Smoky Quartz, the Elestral Smoky Quartz. So this is different from a regular smoky quartz. Um, Elestrial is um, from a different country, I believe. But but they call it because it's just the the way it's the way the color is. So here's another Elestrial piece. Okay, so you can see the difference from this to a regular smoky quartz. There's more inclusions in it. It, it. it just has like a story to it. And I don't say it's a more of a beautiful piece to me, in my opinion. Um, and here's a Smoky Quartz piece. So it's kind of similar, but you can kind of tell the difference as far as clarity and, and all that. So. so that's really nice. I buy all these things and I just don't have 
I can't find spots for it. So I might have to sell a few to find room. <laughs> um, looks like this piece came off. That might have been a natural thing. I'll have to ask her about that, but that's not a big deal. That might be a natural way of it coming off. You know, Mother Nature does its own thing. Okay. So this should be the fireable, Mexican fireable. And I think I can see the different colors through this paper already. It's wonderful blue. Yes, this is the fire of Yeah. So the rainbows in that. This was only five bucks too. So yeah, this would be the Mexican fire opal. And you can you can see the opal, you know, right here. You see that? How it's changing color. This is what it looks like in raw. So that's what they look like raw. So make sure that's it. Oh, there's one more. Full surprises. Oh, wait, there's two more. Oh my goodness. Chaz. Girl, if you're seeing this, you honestly don't have to keep giving this stuff away. I love you, but I want you to also make money too. I mean, maybe that's not the fire apple. But that's, what, that's the part of learning about crystals is, you know, you get these crystals unboxings and stuff. Um, this is Mexican Fire Opal. Okay, <laughs> this is Mexican Fire Opal. Um, but that's the best thing about crystals. You buy them and you know the name or you heard the name on the show and then you get them and you're like, uh, which one is this? And then you learn from it. I have two great books um, that I read from. Um, to identify stones and to learn the properties. But yeah, this is definitely a Mexican fire opal from Mexico. So there's some there. Now I'm doing this slow and I'm having you look because these kind of stones tell a story and it, it, to me, this looks like hieroglyphics a little bit. This kind of looks like um, Osiris a little bit, you know, with the long head and all that. But they tell a story. You can see the old boy right there, the shiny part. So that's that's really nice. I like that. So what the heck is this one? Let me look at my list. Oh, this must be the tumble. Okay, so, okay. So everything's right. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And this is a, oh, oh. Okay. So this is a $5 piece of tumbled emerald. And that is gorgeous. So, and here's an, another piece. Beautiful color. Both absolutely beautiful. But believe it or not, you want the color like this. This is a perfect color right there. If this can be into a gem, which would be this, that would be closely matching to that, right? Rather than this. See how dark, too dark that is? So with emerald, you want it to be light. And I believe sapphire, you want it to be dark. Okay, so that is the last piece of my unboxing. So many pieces. 
I'm gonna clean up this mess and do another video of what I've had so far and my display and kind of clean up the place and hopefully you enjoyed and sorry for the long video um, hopefully you skipped through a lot of stuff um, so if you have any questions about crystals or any help identifying I'm more than happy to help I'm learning still as well um, but wait until you see the collection I have so far um, you'll see that I'm a madman but anyways thanks for watching and um, comment below and like this video thank you